<laughs> we have a couple special guests on the couch. Let me introduce to you Steve Smotherman, who is uh, the youth pastor at uh, Legacy Church, New Mexico, along with Kevin Banks down here. Kevin, you are the founder or one of the founders of an organization called Dream Big. I'm the founder of Dream Big. You are the founder. Yes, sir. I want to give you proper credit. <laughs> well, I appreciate that. Good to have you guys here. Thanks Thank for you. having us. Thank you for having well, us. Well, next week you have an event. Yes, sir. On uh, next Wednesday night at uh, 6.30 over at the church, we're doing a huge uh, youth event uh, called Somebody That I Used to Know. Um, and it's, it's, it's going to be a great night, uh, kind of wrapped around uh, just loving on teenagers, showing them, showing them something uh, better for their life, kind of trying to inspire some change in them and show them that, um, you know, really that God is real and that He loves them and that um, if nobody else cares about them, that we care about them. You know, if, if, if they have nowhere else to turn in their life, um, there's somebody there that, uh, that, that that can show them something, that they can be something with their life and do something with their life. And, mm -hmm. um, so that's kind of our, our angle with it, um, is just to do something like that. And, and a tagline, somebody I used to know, what does that really mean? Well, there's a, there's a song um, that's been popular called Somebody That I Used To Know, so we're kind of tagging off of that um, and talking about how sometimes in life... Um, you know, when God created us, uh, sometimes we get away from that, and we get away from God, and we forget about Him in our life. So mm -hmm. don't let God look at your life and say, man, you're somebody that I used to know. Mm. Let it be, you're somebody that I know, yeah. that I have a relationship with. And so that's kind of our, our theme is, is, is to not let that be said of your life, right. to let it be said that, hey, He knows my name, um, that I've, I spend time with Him, that I know Him. Yeah. Um, and so that's kind of our uh, our main central focus of that night is is for that. That's to be in great that work. Mm. It's it's, it's going to be fun. We're going to have a blast. And then my boy, uh, <laughs> Mr. Kevin Banks here. He's uh, his his organization, Dream Big. We've been doing these events with them. Yeah. Um, they've been a huge help to us in, in terms of sponsorships. And um, he's always giving stuff away to the teenagers. So there's always giveaways and um, some some other fun stuff for teenagers to do um, with what he's been able to help us do. Yeah, and can you tell us real quick about Dream, Bo yeah, Dream Big? I mean, you've been on the show before to talk yes. about it, but just remind our viewers. So Dream Big, I mean, one of our uh, big pushes annually is Cuts for Kids. I mm -hmm. uh, just came off of Cuts for Kids in August. Uh, we try to do a lot of youth outreach in the community, mm -hmm. and that was the main catalyst for teaming up with The Switch and, and Stevie, um, because obviously our missions are the same, is to reach out to the youth and make sure our youth of Albuquerque are taken care of, yeah. not only Albuquerque, but abroad. But Dream Big has been around for about three years now. And we continue to grow. We have a lot of momentum right now. Um, we have a bunch of projects coming up, not only with the Switch, but other organizations, including uh, APD um, and Sports and Wellness. So, yeah. So, this is a good fit for both organizations, Absolutely. isn't it? It's a perfect fit. Yeah. It is. Yeah. It's, it's been it, great working with them. What kind of turnout do you get at this, Steve? Um, you know, any anywhere from. 800 to several thousand it just no depends. kidding 800 is a lot it, yeah it just depends <laughs> on the night it, it really just depends on um the word of mouth that's really what we rely on mostly yeah. um is teenagers telling other teenagers about it i was going to say the um, networking is amazing it, yeah. and that's yeah. what we do and they get on the social networks and we have so many of them that are they're wild i mean you get a teenager <laughs> passionate about something oh. and they are incredible because yeah. they're, they're like you know with, with kids say the darnest thing teenagers will say whatever they're passionate about <laughs> you know they'll tell you what they're thinking and so um that's kind of what we've done is is gotten teenagers excited about it so it's perfect because it's a night where we can tell teenagers that there is hope and then it gives those teenagers that do have hope that are already doing good things an opportunity to reach out um, outside of themselves and to help somebody else. So it's kind of a perfect night mm -hmm. for anybody and everybody to come. Um, and we even have, you know, grandparents show up and they're dancing with us sometimes and having some fun. So everybody uh, comes to these events and that's when he might even dance a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> that's not well, happening. Okay, what, what time <laughs> do I get That's a dream there? right there. Yeah. <laughs> so tell us what we can actually expect of the event. Is it like a concert style? I know you're going to have a special guest there. Yeah, we, we have a special that? guest, um, Kafe Anderson. Uh, he was one of the finalists on the final season of Nashville oh, Star, wow. um, which was the CMT version of American Idol and all yeah. that. Um, so he was one of the finalists on the last season. So he's a big old uh, country boy. Um, uh, he, he's incredible. Uh, yeah. he, he does some acoustic like worship music that I've never uh, listened to his music and not just been excited. Mm -hmm. um, and actually what's crazy about it is the song that I proposed to my wife to was a song he wrote. Oh, um, wow. So it's kind of super uh, awesome for that me so cool. because it's kind of a, hey man, this is the guy who, I mean, who gets to meet the guy who sang the song that they, you know, proposed to really. And so yeah. uh, it's like me and my wife's song. So he sang that. And that so he's so got cool. some good stuff. Um, we have a friend of ours now, uh, DP 
P.B., who's a Christian hip-hop artist out of Alabama, that's going to be with us. Yeah. Um, and so it's going to be fun. And like, like I said, Coffey's, and he's all over the place. He just did an event with um, Tim Tebow and Jace from Duck Dynasty. Uh, they were speaking at an event, and he was the worship guy for it. Oh. Um, so he's incredible. Uh, so, guys, again, your event is next Wednesday. Yes, sir. Just next, prior to Halloween. Okay? Next Wednesday night, right before Halloween. So yeah. we are going to have a ton of candy. We're giving out free candy. People um, can wear costumes. People can wear costumes. Uh, hopefully we tell them appropriate costumes. <laughs> yes. uh, but they can wear costumes. We are giving out free candy. So the name of it night. is, again, someone. Somebody that I used to somebody know. Somebody that I used to know. I mm -hmm. love that. That's the title of it. And, hmm. uh, and so it'll be a fun night. It'll be a fun 800 night. to several thousand teenagers. Just depending upon how, how, how much they get the word out. Yeah. You know, just depending on that. And oh, teenagers don't talk to one another, do they? <laughs> no, they, they just text. So they yeah. just that, that works, though. Just send a text. <laughs> text Facebook, everybody. all yeah, the social Yeah, just do all that. I would imagine after you have some, some kids who come, who don't attend your church, they, they come again to see what you guys are doing the next time. They, they really do because every week for us is like a huge event, really. Mm -hmm. um, we do these bigger ones, but every week it's such a, uh, an exciting thing. You know, I, I always say this. I believe it's a sin to be boring. Like, that's not in the Bible. I just, you know, I, teenagers don't like to be bored. So yeah. our service is very geared towards uh, a generation that doesn't want to be bored. And so it's very exciting. The entire time is captivating your attention yeah. um, and really almost every week you never know what to expect we do some crazy stuff um, just out of the blue out, I mean there's just some stuff we just shock shock value get them to pay attention to what we're trying to trying to teach them and, yeah. and show them so well just having a concert I mean that's pretty awesome yeah oh yeah yeah we're having fun and again with dream big helping us it's been it's been uh, we've been able to do some really big things you yeah. know and Kevin we did a lot forward. of coverage for you on cuts for kids right. just how did that go um, Prior to the start oh, of school, wow. what Cuts was your turnout? It was awesome. We had about 5,000 people uh, in total show up at the oh uh, New Mexico gosh. State wow. Fairgrounds via Hispana. It was a, a huge outpouring of not only support, but of needs um, throughout our community. We cut over 2,100 kids here. Oh my gosh. Boys and girls. We gave away 2,100 backpacks and school awesome. supplies. So it was an awesome event. Um, it's just growing every year. Can't yeah. wait for next year. It just uh, shows the need for something oh, like that. Oh, absolutely. Huge need. It's amazing. Yeah. I want to thank you guys for being here and hanging out thank with you. us. Thank you for having us.